turbine itself is the first iteration and spinning there is powering a uh, motor that's running as a generator and it is in turn wired to another motor of the same size which as you can see put tape to it it's behind my left hand right now so you can't see it and uh, and it's uh, spinning as the generator is spun by the motor this is running off compressed air the um, turbine disc that's at the right hand the lower right hand portion of the screen beam, we are then uh, building at this point okay first thing we do is do some drilling for the mounting holes and these are done with peck drilling and uh, since we're drilling in the room we're using the lubricant otherwise that big, small bit would snap very easily it loads up too quickly and has to be kept lubricated otherwise it doesn't work very well uh, the next thing that we do is um, we're going to go to uh, milling a pocket using a quarter inch mill and this is the uh, exhaust steam receiving area and this is milled to a depth of a quarter of an inch the uh, fins are all a quarter of an inch deep this is three eighths of the room and uh, the first thing we do when we start milling the actual fins in is we do a serpentine cut around the entire periphery uh, and this is to take out the mass of material between the fins and it makes the cutting uh, that we do a little bit easier. The next thing that we do is we go in and um, uh, do a rough cut of each one of the fins individually. And after we do that, um, uh, we actually before we do that, we, we, we uh, mill it, the circumference and put four tabs in. This keeps the workpiece in, in place the inside the piece of scrap stock that we're milling into. And uh, the tabs are really helpful. You see the picture of the back of the tabs, uh, 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 back of the workpiece with the tabs in it as a still picture. Um, then what we do is we go in and we fine mill each of the pins because uh, our rough, rough mill brought it down to within three thousandths and then we go and uh, do the finishing cut. Uh, it's done as a climb cut to keep things even, uh, evenly done. And since this is a big mill, uh, we should have probably set the mill uh, itself to spin faster to get a cleaner cut. But it did a very nice job on this, as you'll see. Uh, in the end, what we're doing is we're going to be running the thing on live steam. This was a uh, exhibition that uh, we do in, uh, at Lee's Mills. And uh, it worked pretty well. Um, we're still refining this, but it seems to be going pretty good. Our eventual attention, intention is to put it in a model boat and have electronics control the actual speed of the output motor. Um, that way we don't have to regulate the boiler feed. We can just let it run all the time.